welcome back and in this video we will be explaining about creatinine clearance. Creatinine is a breakdown product of creatine which is a molecule that lives inside muscle cells. Creatine holds on to high energy phosphates to help generate ATP during muscle contraction. When broken down, this creatine ends up in the blood as creatinine which we can measure. The normal serum concentration of creatinine in the blood would be around 1 mg per deciliter ranging from 0.6 to 1.2. Creatinine flows from blood ends up at the glomerulus and from there it is freely filtered into the Bowman's capsule and then to the renal tubules. The concentration of creatinine that reaches the glomerulus is the same as that when it enters the nephron for excretion. Creatinine is never reabsorbed in significant amounts once in the tubule. Only a little is secreted. So it is safe to say that the creatinine concentration in the filtrate is equal to the concentration of creatinine in the urinary excretion. The rate at which it's filtered is known as GFR or glomerular filtration rate. It's the amount of fluid that filters into the Bowman's capsule per unit time. This value is around 125 milliliters per minute. This GFR value is very important as it tells us how our kidney is functioning. Theoretically, the total value of GFR is equal to the sum of filtration rates of all the functioning nephrons when added. This accounts up to 180 liters of fluid per day. When the kidney is not functioning, it isn't filtering anymore and the GFR or the glomerular filtration rate will drastically decrease. To measure the GFR, we can choose a molecule in our body and measure how fast it's been cleared from the serum. This is known as clearance. Renal clearance is the volume of plasma that is completely cleared of a substance by the kidney per unit time. There are three types of clearances in the kidney. Zero clearance is when a molecule is freely filtered but also reabsorbed 100%. For example, Glucose. Complete clearance is when a molecule is freely filtered but it is not reabsorbed nor secreted from the blood to nephron. Example inulin. Partial clearance is when a majority of the molecule is filtered into the Bowman's capsule but very little is secreted and minute amounts are reabsorbed. For example, creatinine. An ideal serum marker solute is freely filtered at the glomerulus and once in the nephron it is neither secreted nor reabsorbed. So theoretically our ideal serum marker would be inulin but it is not naturally produced in our body. It has to be injected into the patient's body 24 hours prior to the test. This is very time consuming and impractical in clinical practice. That's when creatinine comes into play. Calculation of GFR is done either directly or indirectly. GFR can be calculated directly through creatinine clearance through a urine test as creatinine clearance approximates GFR. Creatinine clearance can be calculated using the following equation. The creatinine clearance of a healthy individual will vary from 90 to 140 milliliters per minute. GFR can be calculated indirectly by drawing blood and analyzing serum creatinine levels. This is known as estimated GFR or eGFR. For practical reasons, the blood test method for GFR is used far more often than the 24-hour urine collection test for creatinine clearance. Several factors like body mass, gender and age can influence the value of creatinine clearance of GFR. The most important factor is age. Creatinine clearance or GFR will decrease by about 1 milliliter per minute per year after the age of 50 years. When you get older, the kidneys just don't want to filter stuff anymore. Therefore, when administering a drug exclusively cleared by the kidneys to the elderly, we should be aware of the GFR. If not, the drug will stick around the patient's serum a lot longer than expected.